Sacred Bulls Covenant with uh, Shadow Dancer Brown. Yep. So, hello, everyone. Got my stream going. So, awesome. Which either looks like Italy or something else. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. There will be spinoffs here shortly. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. And for those watching my stream, uh, hopefully the quality is okay. I did slightly drop the quality just because um, currently this machine is pulling double duty with uh, also acting as a server, so I didn't want to overstress it too badly. Um, but did, everything did, did you want to tell anyone about that server stuff at all? I suppose or? I could. <laughs> uh, let's see. So for those watching... Um, Tonight at midnight, and that's midnight uh, central time. Um, the okay, so some backstory. Um, I actually run and am the sole employee of uh, Magic Fox Games, and our first game, um, Carnal Chemistry, is coming out. Um, well, it's going to open beta midnight tonight. Uh, if you want to check us out, that's Magic Fox Games, all one word. Uh, dot com. Well, of course, it's all one word. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, check it out. And at midnight, um, again, midnight central. So it's currently eight twenty six right now for reference. Um, at uh, midnight, the uh, link will uh, go up for you to download the uh, current game client. At this point, it's mostly just uh, placeholder content. Um, a lot of the work so far has been on the engine, but um, actual content will be starting to flow in in the very near future. So, exciting times. All right. So, so yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, we're cutting this a little shorter today than normal, just to make sure that uh, game launch goes off without a hitch. Yep. Everything should be fine, but, you know, there's always that, that last second... Oh no. All right. Get started then? I'm ready. Yep. Starting time. Blink. Okay, now I need to figure out how to manage this empire that I have created. What have I done? Well, stability, what are you talking about? Look, all I'm saying is that my empire will, will find its low energy state and will stay there. <laughs> upside down. <laughs> uh, Everything will be fine. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's the reason for that. I have gotta figure out how to do resort worlds better. Because the problem with the resort world is once it gets going, it's fine, but the first 10 pops are absolutely, well, the first nine pops are absolutely awful because you're not allowed to build districts. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we have 84 years left in this game, so plenty of time. So how's everybody's week going? It's going good, it's going good. It's going. Sounds good. Yeah, let's see, I need that. Alright, I need to unlock the uh, collector 
blenders before I can build my matter decompressor. Oh yeah, I'm saving up for that. What was it? Was this like, okay, what was I doing here? What was I doing here? Okay, I was uh, saving yeah. resources for that shit. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way I can really speed this part up. Because I basically need to wait for this to repair. Which is a little bit less than 10 years away. Actually, it's probably more like eight years away. Because I could actually hover over it. Yeah, that's seven. I have been enjoying the Cyto Revitalization Centers. Yeah. There's one that doesn't have one yet. Oh. Yeah, I'm doing all right on alloy production. I'll be fine. Actually, I don't want that one to go too nuts until I get my matter decompressor. At which point, yes, make all the alloys. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see, while I wait for this to get cleared up, we are going to keep an eye on this stuff over here. This could potentially become an issue with one oh. I wonder if I should rename this planet to something other than maybe not death. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You name it not death. <laughs> Actually, yes, definitely not death. So the name is going to be definitely not death. Yes. Or just not death. As in, definitely, it's going to be named definitely not death. And hey, that's just short enough to fit in the outliner without getting cut off. Huh. <laughs> that's important. save up for that since we can finally build them Oh yeah, the Senate's voting on sanctions and whatnot. And I'm trying to hold off independent tribunals as long as I can. <laughs>
I still don't like the way that works, though. Because it's like I've literally never even built a Colossus in this game. Mm -hmm. And yet I'm in breach of it because I know how to make one. <laughs> it's like, why don't we just broadcast this like throughout the galaxy? Then we'll all be in breach of it. Therefore, it's okay. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> okay, do I declare this guy my god? Hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, an immortal en entity known as Autonomous Drone 14. Previously, uh, previously voles, but now something more, has attracted a large and devout following in the sacred voles covenant, worshipped by many as a supreme deity. A call has gone out to officially crown uh, the governor as a permanent ruler of our great empire now and into perpetuity. Sounds like heresy. <laughs> But is it, though? That's the question. I suppose arguably is the head of the church. Yeah. It's not heresy until I say it's heresy. <laughs> we'll go with it. Okay, you remember that, like, very short-lived um, Dilbert TV show? Yes. Only lasted, like, a season? Yep. Wasn't there an episode in there where Wally became basically like had a cult? Pretty sure, yeah. Asking questions like, "What's your favorite type of cheese?" Oh, you know the one with the holes in it? Oh yeah, you mean Swiss? Yeah, not that one. <laughs> and like a couple of his followers walk away. <laughs> they get it to the end. His followers have left because it's just one by one he's alienated them all. <laughs> Sucks to be him. <laughs> Why is the crime so... Oh, right. Crime's so high here because we're actively purging people. <laughs> you know, I am... Not even choosing to purge them. I literally have no choice. <laughs> I actually would love to not purge them. They're not a bad empire. Can you set them to assimilation? I don't think I can assimilate um, hive minds. Uh, yeah, I literally have no other option. Every other option is either grayed out or just doesn't exist. Hmm. I guess it would be, I mean, not impossible to integrate a hive mind with, you know, a non-hive mind. Like, I could see there being some, pen uh, some penalties there. There is a way to do it, but it involves a lot of hoop jumping. Yep. I mean, failing that, can we purge them faster? <laughs> <laughs> but no, the way to do it, from what I've heard from... Uh... 
my sibling is uh you have to use gene editing to or some of the templates to remove the hive mind yeah and then you can integrate them but there's like three or four hoops you've got to jump through and it's for vassalization actually i have gene editing hey i have a new uh saint born okay i cannot remove the hive mind trait don't have enough uh brony is forming a cult on his planet <laughs> forming <laughs> they are you play the dark cult <laughs> No, I'm just playing a religious empire. Uh, religious empire. Ah. So am I. It's just yeah. called God, Jesus, Emperor Brony. I, I have literally removed all non-religious empires that border me, except possibly. Are you religious, wormhole neighbor? Okay, you're not religious. So about that. And here we have the majestic Tianki space whales. Look at how uh, look at all their majesty. Look at how big they are compared to this planet. I'm going to assume that's not to scale. Guys, what do these guys think of me? They are neutral. alone for the time being. Not that I want to do anything hostile, but don't really know what to make of the the hive mind over there. This is where we run into that interesting issue that I think I might have mentioned last stream, where I've got everybody in research districts. The problem is in a habitat, research districts aren't actually that good. Because <laughs> they're only like three housing, three um, um, jobs. And it's like, well, a fully set up um a fully set up lab can hold more than that basically you can get more researchers per habitat if you go full habitation districts now with ring worlds it's the other way around ring worlds you absolutely want habitation or um, research districts because each of those research districts is i think it's what 20 job uh, 20 researcher jobs for the cost of one yeah. Exotic gases a month. Yeah. I suppose it does make sense if you're not necessarily trying to um, to fully specialize all of your places. Then I guess I can see it.
build that. Just 28 to go. Zero more for me. <laughs> what could go wrong? Absolutely nothing. Everything. I wish you could turn off some of the notifications, like when you update your star bases, vessels upgraded, vessels upgraded about 80 times. Because of the defense platforms, yeah. Yeah. I wish there was a way I could have it just auto pick research, because once I, especially once I get to the point of repeating research, I'm literally just doing them in, in order of whatever's cheapest. Be fun mm -hmm. to do a game where you auto pick research too. I would. See what the hell happens. I mean, it's less of an issue when you're playing with slower attack, but uh, <laughs> I think I was the only one that was enjoying our super slow tech game. <laughs> yeah, Shinny and I hated it. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. Because you're a glutton for torture, Dave. <laughs> No, it was great because I wasn't getting just like, you know, constant digging, like, research complete, research complete, research complete, research complete. <laughs> I love that sound. Yeah, but after a while, it's like, that's all I've been doing is clicking the researches. I don't have any time to deal with this research because... By the time I've done anything, I'll be ready for the next... Uh... See, I'm good at making the quick decisions because... The other game I play that's not with you guys, we go fast to fastest speed. So oh, with can, minimal pause, we do pause once in a while. But I have to admit, doing a game where it's all fast is pretty fun. Yep. It's not so much that it takes too long to decide. Uh, it's more a case of um, like out when you have to pick like every minute you're picking like two researches. <laughs> Yeah. It slows down as the game gets to like mid game and stuff, and the research starts taking just longer and longer. But um, another thing I found too is that I actually used the ship design way earlier in the game um, with uh, with slower tech because I don't design a ship only to instantly have them uh, have it be obsolete, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is an issue I often run into. Or worse yet, have the ship become obsolete literally while it's in the queue being constructed. <laughs> How goes the mega structure, guys? Close to building that. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Building that big block. Well, we're currently running at about a third speed. Oh, I know. No, I was just looking to see how far along the big, uh, the big ship I've been building was. It's uh, gonna take a while. Interesting. 
Well, let's go to the lower bottom. Oh, they're colonizing the new planets they got off of uh, the empire we went to war with. It's just weird. I've never seen a colony ship pass through, like, leave your empire and come back. I guess if I guess if they're an ally and it's the fastest route, though, there's no reason for them not to. Oh. The crusade of the righteous begins. <coughs> Just helping remove some drivers from around here. Fair enough. I'm being helpful and a good neighbor. No, these guys are hegemonic imperialists. It's the it's the uh, uh, robot uprising from them, probably. Yeah, it's the like orange one with the purple uh, boundary. Yeah. Oh, that, that's <clears throat> somebody else owns a planet in there. That's what I clicked on. Shazak to computers. Yep. I see the little punks. Your early interference is unsettling to us, said the giant fungus. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you see what I have to deal with down here? Machine intelligence. These guys are just intelligent research things. Because I was looking at the one near me, the out robot uprising, that I decided, no, 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 I'm closing my border so you can moderate your creators. Eat it. Engaged. Yes, but does it work out to your benefit to let them? I have an alliance with, or I have friendship with, bo uh, with, well, uh, with both of them, so it benefits me to keep them both alive. Ah. I have this interesting little ship problem in the eastern part of my empire. Might be time to deal with this. I have about 40k worth of fleet. I think that can deal with the Titan? Yeah, it should be able to. Depending on how their Titan is set up and how much uh, support it has. I should say a Leviathan. Oh, okay, that's different. <laughs> and I have a Titan on one of my fleets. Mm, okay. And going in with the two fleets I have, should have about 32 Corvettes along <laughs> with a myriad of other ships. But it should have a pretty much a pickup wall of like 32 Corvettes. Okay. But the problem is, it's uh, it's a dreadnought. 
That could get interesting. Yeah. All right. Minerals are definitely my current uh, choke point. I mean, I'm dealing with it, and the problem will be sorting itself out very soon, but uh, I know it's... Oh, no. Producing food so much. Where am I producing it all? Okay. Oh, See, because these guys are producing tons of it. See any of my people on the market again? How's everybody's week been going? So far, so good. first to it and then you'll be back at yeah. okay I'll demote soon Okay, a little more than five years left on my uh, on uh, repairing that uh, ordination center, which I believe should then make me eligible for Galactic Wonders. And that's when the real insanity happens.
that's the one I need for my next project. I'm about freaking out, that's what I need. But for now, let's focus on one thing at a time. granted us new wisdom. Titan is just long range death. Yeah, it's. Of that type, so. That one is. Oh. This could get ugly. Oh, yeah. The uh, some of the ships in there that I have in there, uh, artillery ships. Uh, so yep. I have like, hold on, no, not the fleet. I want the ship. So really, your big thing is you need to be able to intercept people before they get to you. That's what the corvettes are for. Yep. <laughs> 24 on those in an extra. So about 30 neutrino uh, neutrino launchers. Okay, those are those are good for that. And it's going against one ship, which is a Leviathan. Yep. You, you. You are one jump away. You are two jumps away, or three. The way the heck. And Let's see what's the Galactic Council doing? First off, priorities.
has arrived. Fleet 2 is still two jumps away. Situation log updated. So how's the rest of the galaxy going? Uh, so far, so good. Pretty good here. Let's see. Sanctions passed. Too busy passing sanctions to actually do anything, any real work like shutting down independent tribunals or whatever. Like and shutting down what? Independent tribunals. <laughs> because it makes no fucking sense. To be fair, I think I'm the only person that's currently in breach of it. So it's, uh, the mechanic is actually pretty damn dumb. Like, yeah. oh, you researched this. You're in breach. What? You can't forget shit, though. You can, but not in the game. No. That's partially why I'm sitting there going, what? This is where there needs to be an option, like, on the Senate floor to go, all I'm saying is, we know who's voting in favor of this, and we know who is voting against this. And we clearly have this yeah. technology, so... Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I, I'm just saying that, you know, we, we might have a way of swaying the vote. Military fleets are at the same point. Give that one some time, and then we're going in. Yeah.
So I'm reading through the various resolutions. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you start going far enough down the like science ones, it gets interesting. Yeah. Uh, like the flavor text for this one, ethical guideline refactoring. To possess the ability to further science provides a moral imperative to do so, free from outdated ethical concepts that restrain us. We do what we must because we can. Sure. See this one here that says Tithe of the Soulless. Oh, yeah, that's like the anti robot one, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I mean. <sighs> no. I don't really care. Because it doesn't affect me. I always run into this problem. It's actually kind of funny because, like, I'm playing fanatical materialists for half of the abilities. Like, I basically never. Yeah. But I get a research speed of 10% uh, uh, increase for being fanatic materialist. So. Half of the benefits of this that I spent the points for, I'm not even using <laughs> just because I don't like having to deal with robots. It's one more thing to micromanage. You're having a wonderful time uh, eliminating the problem with uh, micromanaging robots. <laughs> Speaking of that, how is our stuff going? I mean, down to 22. Okay, that's not bad. is in 30 days and then let's get it to up, go after the big bastard and then I take the ship over make it part of my fleet nothing bad could possibly come of this their own system. All right, follow the older one.
You definitely need that. That was done. That's done. Did you die? <laughs> nope. Okay, well, I didn't declare war on anyone. I think that son of a bitch would put up that much of a fight. For the amount of crap I was just throwing at it. Hot. Damn. Oh, yeah. I lost Some of those be really nasty to deal with. I lost a chunk of my fleet for that. Actually, no, I want you guys to stay. The big fleet's going to return home, start repairing. You guys are going to wait around and have the Dreadnought join your fleet. Huh. So at this point, each of my Corvettes is worth slightly less than 400 military power. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. If I had that kind of firepower, this probably would have gone a little differently. Right now, mine are... aren't all that good. See, for me, I'm just using a triple setup of uh, small phase disruptors and then tier five shields and armor. And even, just, well, more armor than shields. And then uh, advanced afterburners. Interesting. Yep. But then as far as components, Oh, I'm only using impulse thrusters. Is there a tier five that I have access to? Same for my sensors. I think tier five of those can only be gotten from fallen empires. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, it's going to take a lot to repair both these fleets. Holy hell. But I'll tell you what, that Titan, that Titan ship of mine put in some fucking work. Yeah. Okay, no, it looks like I need to go to war with a fallen empire if I want to get the, the fifth tier of any of that stuff. Because, yeah, I saw the orange beam lance out in the thing's health bars. Like, it was on green, the health bar just tanked. Yep. Well, a lot of that, too, uh, depends on your individual choice of uh, weapons, like mine. With, with my, with the way my Corvettes are set up, you die with full shields and armor. Because it completely bypasses and ignores them. It really doesn't scratch your shields or armor. Yeah. yeah. That probably would have helped with me as a... Uh, if I had Corvettes... Or something like that. Uh, yep. Let's mm -hmm. actually see yeah, something just... of that.
how do you tell how much military power one is worth? Um, well, in this case, I have one fleet that has four Corvettes, and there are four identical Corvettes, and the entire fleet is 1.5k. So uh, divide that by four. So you actually have to build them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it should be noted that right now I could have up to 210 of those in a single fleet. Yeah. <laughs> Corvette spam. Yep. That's kind of one of those things if it's like, if my Corvettes are already beefy enough to take out some of the or even battleships, why be heavier and more expensive and slower kind of a scenario? Now, if I was going up against something that was an even fight, uh, then I'd probably be a little bit more uh, focused on heavy ships. But at this point, I'm already catching up to fallen empires on technology. Hey, 19, that's so... This is going to take, repairing the Dreadnought's going to take that, the hot, the holy fuck. What's up? Repairing the Dreadnought's going to take a while. Oh, yeah. They, they are kind of gigantic. I just didn't think that they would take that freaking long. <laughs> Oh, more psionics. Yep. Here's the nearest free one, so get over there. Alright, I'm not having your fleet be injured that freaking long. You what? guys return to base. and uh, random stuff. Our scientists demand more trinkets. <laughs> what? Uh, I have enough scientists that I'm running low on consumer goods despite having an entire world dedicated to producing them. My Gosh. empire as a whole is currently burning through just shy of 400 consumer goods a month. Wow. Okay. <laughs> they want their bobbleheads and anime. Exactly. Who just died? Who just died? Three years.
I do wish that in the uh, outliner I could like drag stuff around in these lists. Yeah. Like my my home sector has 14 colonies and habitats in it, and it'd be really cool if I could put them in a coherent order. <laughs> yeah. I know how that feels. Construction complete. All right, in like three years, I can solve, I can begin the process to solve my mineral, or mineral shortage once and for all. Because I've already got my last ascension perk that I've been saving for. But to get Galactic Wonders, this has to finish repairing, which will be like three years. And then at this black hole site, where I already have a construction ship sitting, I can start construction immediately. Sounds good to me. Right now, I'm going to be waiting about 10 years for that uh, dreadnought to be fixed. Because, uh, yeah, a thousand minerals a month would be awesome. Let's see, seems like the rest of the galaxy is just kind of chugging along here. That we can do oh, the no. later. Right now, I'll scan the thing so I can try to get this construction ship there. The spirits have granted us Which new isn't wisdom. moving for shit. All right, let's see. And... Okay. have granted us new wisdom. Yes.
Okay. Oh, that's good to know. So if you, um, the, uh, the ambitions, which are the, uh, which are the edicts you unlock after you've unlocked the entire tradition tree, mm -hmm. um, those do not count toward your edict capacity. Ah. So I just gave my scientists a 20% boost, uh, for the next 16 and a half years. <laughs> oh, nice. Here's to see if that pushes me up to 4,000 science a month. I think it should, actually. You need to wait until the month ticks over. Uh, look at those. Interesting. Yep. They are quite nice. How's they look at? Sadly, nope, still only 3k. Uh, more psionics.
Um, I think I just crashed, yep. No. Okay, ready to start time? I'm ready. Starting time. Clink. Yay. All right. So it's so session. My stuff is no worse than it previously was. Down to two years. Goofball's doing down there. Mm -hmm. I wish no water yet, but it's got some pretty massive fleet buildup going on up here. They like me, so it's not the end of the world. Which one? Uh... They're protective. This empire believes that we are weak and need their protection. Which one is that? The, um, the, um, Coalition of Lord Reacts. Ah. Uh, directly south of me. Okay. So, you little stinkers found a way how to continue your damn war. Okay, more power to you. You found a way in. <laughs> they found a way around? <laughs> yeah. One of them, I have my borders open to still because they're, it's, their biggest fleet is 585. I'm just... Out of the rock biter, they look like big, strong hands. <laughs> so I'm like, you guys don't need to. You guys don't need to be held back. The robots with two, with twenty thousand, do need to be held back from exterminating your existence. Uh, and I snuck in and took a plant and took a system. <laughs> the other guys are now uh, kicking. Are now going. Uh, no. Ours, yeah. So they've continued their war. I'm a little impressed, actually. <laughs> and things are back to the way they were. I may or may not deal with. System geology charter. Good. That means it's now mine. Why did they put a research complex here? I don't know. I would have had a reason. Oh, right. Okay, figured it out. <laughs> yeah. 
get this one it's everything um this section yep my alloy hot damn It's some uh, research agreements getting broken here. Yeah, I'm noticing that. So I up with that city district. I need the menial jobs from it. Because somebody keeps trying to sell my dudes. Why do you bastards have two in there? When the fuck are you jumping again? That's kind of interesting. So there is a mega structure to get, you know, massive amounts of um, energy credits, the Dyson sphere. Mm -hmm. And there's the matter decompressor for minerals. There aren't any for food. Like some sort of a gigantic mega space farm. Right, there's no. Although, that is counterbalanced by the fact that. There are no buildings that produce energy credits or minerals, but there are for food. So I guess it mm -hmm. balances that way. That's not exactly true. Well, I mean, they're the ones that give you the uh, they give you the boost. Yeah. I'm looking for one because I have a generator world. It also does give you extra jobs from the building itself. Yeah, it gives you one extra. Unless you have ones that do different. Uh, the upgraded one does too. There's also the benthic power plant, and you can do a bioreactor. Yeah, I know there are the, the benthar, or benthic, whatever. I know there's that. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't really notice the upgraded, uh, like, energy nexus does give you two technician jobs and stuff. Yeah, but it's not as good as, say, uh, looking at shiny foods, the hydroponic farm, or the food processing facilities. Yeah, yeah. I think they're actually much better. Well, th those you're limited, like, um, the, uh, the hydroponics farms you can absolutely fill a planet with. You can't, uh, you only are limited to one each of the others. Uh, I mean, okay, the Bentharic uh, power plant, those are... Um, uh, the Batharian, whatever, those are limited based on you can only build them if there are uh, Batharian crystal deposits. Yeah. Two down. Two dudes now have jobs. Working on a generator district. Oh, my head scientist died. Make the diligences.
Our guide king will uh, see him to the other side. Who do I hire to replace? You have spark of genius. Disappoint you. You're not psychic, but whatever. All gates still causing no trouble. I'll report it. So far. Okay. Like, don't do anything to that thing until everything's repaired. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, that system's now mine. Excellent. Which system is nice? Oh, the uh, one with the uh, uh, archaeological site. Cool. Good. The one with the archaeological site that had the. Uh, that had the dreadnought in it. I was waiting to take that one. Uh, 10 30, we're getting off. Generator district is almost built, so I'll have more jobs for my people. Who's rivaling who? Nobody that really interests me. Good for either generator or just Find it now. The car is that thing. And 
Edict, Ambition. Heretic Station engaged. Oh, it's not good for revolution. Nikki, how's the war by you going? Well, the other guys took the planet back, so. Ah. And their current biggest lead is 82. Huh. Fair enough. Whereas, again, the robot group has a lot. Like. 200, uh, like 22. Yeah. Uh, that does seem to happen a lot when a uh, robot uprising happens. Yeah. It's, kind of, it, it's, it, it's pretty bad when it happens. Yeah. Somebody's out of sync. Uh, yeah, that's the first of the year. When you have somebody that's uh, when you have somebody that's behind, uh, that takes longer. Oh. Uh, because so there's stuff that it calculates monthly, and there's stuff that it calculates yearly. And when it's doing the yearly calculation, it's all the monthly stuff and additional. Yeah. Are we pause for any? Um, I didn't pause this. I didn't either. Yeah, I, I didn't either. Weird. All right. Possibly hit something, but I don't remember doing that. Probably what happened is somebody hit something. No problem with it. Had a brief hiccup that it's like. Because I think we've had that happen once before, where like, I don't know, it's almost like it hiccups and pauses or something. Yeah. Like maybe it's a desync that like, it auto pauses and right before the uh, up or something, I don't know. Like it, yeah. it recovers. Yeah, no, that's possible. Now we're adding the mining stations to that new world. I'll turn you into a mining world. Or you just use more rock.
1600s versus 2100, uh, Stage where I'm just waiting for stuff to complete. Spirits have granted us new wisdom. Mm -hmm. Alright, come on, almost gone. Good. They call that a defense army, we'll show them. And let's see. So next question is going to be where does the mega structure go? Because I've got century array that's going to be built here. And there's going to be once I get prepared the strategic coordination center here. Okay, matter decompressor has to go around the black hole. This is the only one of those I've got. This is the green world right here.
champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. Okay, yeah, let's see. Our champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. Our champions have secured a heathen Oh, wow, I'm getting refugees. Oh, from the war next to you? <laughs> Either that or possibly mine. Not that war. Hmm. Something about... They're saying the sacred Vul's covenant are evil. I don't know why. We liberate their planets from their oppressive robot... And they dare call us evil. We will show them. All I know is they fl they flood like hell. The bureaucratic center. Doesn't have anything. Tech world doesn't have anything new. Full working world has nothing new. Generator world has. Double this as a uh, saying I have four more. Okay. Oh, now you're just being unreasonable. <laughs>
the overview. Traction of the fleet. Ooh, leverage privateering is being uh, proposed. Is that good or bad? Uh, it's if you're an economic power, it's great. Um, Arguably, uh, my economy is pretty solid, but uh, decent. Well, I say pretty solid. Uh, I have to go down to position nine before I see the first empire that has less. <laughs> I am far more a tech empire than an economic empire. <laughs> I don't think I even rank on economic right now. Um, my tech level is more than four times my economic strength. Bureaucratic upkeep. Ew. I will say one thing that is really interesting to watch as a game progresses is as your technology goes up and everything, it's fascinating to see how this, the entire structure of your empire changes. Like, Eventually, you get to the point where 90% of everything you have are city districts, because... I'm froze. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Yeah. Well, it's the yeah. first of the year. Um, but you run into a situation where, like, oh, well, I have this or that or the other thing. And even if you don't have megastructures, um, one of the repeating texts means that you get more from technicians, you get more from... Mm -hmm. um, more from farmers, you get more from um, miners. So as time goes on, you need fewer and fewer people dedicated to those jobs. So more and more of your people are doing things like metallurgy and stuff like that. So it's fascinating seeing the, the major change over the course of the game. Yeah. Lab code is overpopulated. Oh no. Build more places these days. Ooh. We're ready to upgrade one of these labs. Commence embiggening of the lab. Hmm. Bigging. The great, where are they? Okay, they're just to the side of them. Hunt down the rubricator. No, <laughs> do it. <laughs> I have always had a fun time with that project. Yep. Screw that project. I remember at least two empires that some bitch messed with. Yeah. That's what it does. So, fun note. When you click Reinforce Fleet, it'll only give, like... It tries to split its orders. Oh, between oh. your various shipyards? Yeah, I hate that. Oh. See, so it actually does that intentionally, so that it lets you reinforce faster. Yeah, I I have one that's locked up for another 800 days. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm like, I don't want them going to that one, please. Stop it. <laughs> See, what you need to do is you need to research mega engineering and then get to the point where you can build the mega shipyard. The mega shipyard is a 20 slot shipyard. <laughs> I don't think it works on, on multiples individually, though. What do you mean? Um, right now, 
the juggernaut is taking up a lot of this. Is taking up the ship slot. Oh yeah. That's why normally I don't use the reinforce button, but what I end up doing is I just go to the shipyard I want to build and then just spool up like, you know, oh, I need another dozen Corvettes. But does that, like, let's say you just got in a battle, does that reinforce the numbers? Um, what it'll do is it'll build a bunch of Corvettes, but you then have to manually tell them to go and link up with the fleet. Oh, okay. It avoids the situation of one ship going across, another ship going, another ship going. Yeah. But I kind of like that because it gives me much more precise control over... Um, also, it, it's kind of a habit I got into. Uh, for the longest time, I was having a lot of problems with the fleet designer. Just like either being unintuitive or being buggy or in some other way I could never get it to do what in my head I was trying to do. And out of habit from that... I kind of just got in the habit of doing um, of doing much more hands-on management of shipbuilding. Like, this is where I want them built kind of a thing. Yeah, which makes sense. But it is a little bit more awkward in terms of you have to do more clicking around to make stuff happen. Yeah. So there is a trade-off. So it doesn't sound like it's that bad a one. Yeah, not too bad now. Feeling they're gonna, they're gonna be screwed in a moment. Oh. The Sharzak Initiative or Directive? Oh yeah. It looks like they're being squished. Well, I think Brony's been taking them out. Yeah. For most of the session, actually. Yeah. And you know what things do I get from it? So, guys are helping. Yeah. And. Start making claims on me. Well, they're fleeing. I don't know why. Our champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. The uh, spirits have granted us new wisdom. Freaky fuck, I need another building. I always think it's interesting when the military empires are the ones that are going for, like, you know, the, um, the, the, um, um, galactic policies of like you know well you're in breach of inter or you're in breach of galactic law if you're using less than fifty percent of your naval capacity it's like my naval capacity I can have one fleet bigger than your entire or more powerful than the rest of your navy are you sure you want to force me to have that because mm -hmm. <laughs> at that point I mean your death is just a few mouse clicks. If I have this big, beautiful fleet, I might as well use it. Yeah. And to me, it's always kind of weird because it's sort of like, I mean, I know that that gives them more influence and things like that, but it's kind of a scenario of like, it's in their best interest if everyone else has weak militaries, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. 49 days. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Check the station. See if it's got another freaking slot open. 40 days. Come on. The other one is 600 some days. Come on.
that's interesting. So if you change the angle at which you view a star system, mm -hmm. and then you leave and come back to it, it remembers the angle you were viewing. Hmm. Interesting. Which is also interesting because, I mean, when you go out to the galactic view, okay, you can pan the galaxy up and down, but if you rotate it, it auto like as soon as you let go, it auto rotates it back to like you know, so everybody's looking at the same north, south, etc. Um, systems don't do that, interestingly enough. No. That was the way to like auto reorient it back to match what the galaxy map shows. Same here. But it is still cool to be able to rotate them because you get all these cool views and stuff. Ooh. Uh, I will say the Great Vasani Alliance probably really appreciate being squished. <laughs> Reason being, they're at war with them. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. You would think that. Pretty sure they're happy about it. Okay. Um, that's done. Mm -hmm. That's your big galactic wonders. One more reinforce. Now I immediately and... start building this. Need to reinforce these ones Wait. anymore. One of each. I'm just saying, I need one more of each, and I'm right here. Yeah, they're reinforcing. I just took Galactic Wonders. Why can I not? Oh, I still have to research them. Right. Should be able to do that in a couple months here. Just I really need that matter decompressor. Just the time warning, it is 10.33. Yep. I figure I could probably go till about 10.45. Mostly I just really want to accomplish something this session. <laughs> I understand. But yeah, Mega Shipyard, a massive starbase to get dedicated entirely to shipbuilding. The Mega Shipyard has 20 production berths to build or upgrade ships. Nice. Is when it's completely built, or if 20 is just the I've clicked the re so it's beginning to set up just to stop. I've reinforced, gotten all my stuff. Now, next session, I don't have to worry about getting my fleets. You. You'd like. One more slot for you, so I'm not worried.
I like how I have researched so far into the uh, infinite researches mm -hmm. that the mega structure ones are substantially cheaper in some cases just a little bit more than half yeah. the cost of the other stuff I'm researching. That's yeah. insane. <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> that is insane. I, I'm telling you, I broke science. <laughs> yeah. I would chilling here for three. Change it up next time because I've gotten so like used to playing science empires that um, I don't know what I want to do next. Maybe I'll try a very manufacturing focused empire because I tried that once. It ended horribly, but I didn't. I didn't know the idea behind how to properly play one of those as well as I do now. Could go for that. You could also go for something more psionic. I could. I have played. It's been a little while since I played a psionic empire. I remember, I want to say matter decompressor is search. I think so. Yeah, I, I think I think matter decompressor is physics, and I want to say I want to say Dyson sphere is also physics. Because <sighs> that'll be like the next thing I want is a Dyson sphere. Then it's like, hey, entire empire, anybody who's currently a technician or a miner, guess what? Every single one of you is about to get promoted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any of that anymore. <laughs> Actually, yeah, a tier one of both of them is more first. than enough to cover my current needs. Though those needs will be, of course. To the way that like it all converted into big death fleets. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Old death fleets. That's pretty much just normal kobolds, isn't it? More or less. <laughs> So, just about finishing up? Uh, just about. Thank you. I want to see, like, one more month. Uh, I want the month to take over so I can see what my research options are. Dreadnought's half repaired. That is cool. There's little construction. If you zoom in on like the dreadnought when it's being repaired, mm -hmm. you see like little repair bots flying around. Yep. Cool. There we go. Matter. Okay. Yeah, they are both physics. Okay, I'm ready to call it uh, whenever then. Okay. Yep. I am good. Yeah. Yep. I've been ready. So, not qu so.
Uh, next time I'll probably be splitting off uh, the uh, vassal state, but uh, yeah, other than that, good to go. Works for me. And next time we'll be able to begin construction on the matter decompressor, and also ideally, pretty sure we'll be able to start a Dyson sphere. All right. I'll Let's figure see. something out for next time. Uh, yeah. So, Noble, are you ready? I'm all good. Sorry, I forgot to push to talk. Oh, no worries. Okay, pausing time. Well, as always, I uh, hope everybody enjoyed watching. As always, we had a great time playing, and we'll see everybody next time. Bye! Bye. Bye everyone. You crashed in the middle of a very, like, uh, spirited sermon by your god emperor. Yep. Yeah, the fabric of the universe was not prepared. <laughs> I think you just got into the uh, communal line too much. <laughs> Well, the I fact just... that we're still hearing you means your entire computer didn't crash. No. Yeah, your eyes just went vacant, and then suddenly you were texting everybody new. You're laying there in a puddle of your own girl. <laughs> so now you're just staring vacantly into space. At the photo. Uh, it was weird. You went into this trance, and all we found was scribbled on a random wall. The, the, you know, that something about has performed an illegal operation that needs to. <laughs> I thought the scribble was about evil pancakes and waffles. Oh, no, that's a different game. <laughs> evil waffles. <laughs> Actually, the waffles weren't evil, I don't think. What well, knows? It was waffles. Evil waffles. No, that's true. Those waffles, why are there waffles? But I don't remember anything beyond that, like as far as waffle references. Because that was where, that was the part where it was slowly spiraling in toward the center of the whiteboard. Yep. I'm doing my whiteboard animation <clears throat> sort of swaying side to side. <laughs> side to side, side to side, to side. It was one of those things, like, I was at a convention years ago, and I was watching two people play, like, the giant, like, yard chess. Mm -hmm. And there was one person there that was, she was really animated, like, to the point where whenever she wasn't doing anything, she had this sort of almost idle animation type thing she would just do. And it's one of those things, like, I had never noticed it until then, but it's amazing how many people, including myself, have idle animations. <laughs> So the Bob did from side to side is your idle animation then? It kind of is. I, that or tossing things to myself. It's okay, okay to yeah, yeah, that that's definitely one. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't matter what it is, it will get tossed. Yep. Big things, small things. Fidget spinners. <laughs> yep. I, I, ha I have a, a fidget spinner. And, you know, for a while I did, you know, the actual, like, you know, spin it like you're supposed to do. And at some point, without consciously thinking about it, I just started tossing the whole fidget spinner to myself. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm things got broken. Actually, that is part of, uh, that is part of how I got kind of into uh, yo-yos. It's like, oh, here's something I can throw, and it'll only go this distance away. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah.